I'm Frank, and I am your professor of writing and rhetoric for the semester in Writing 104, Section 16. As some of you have seen through the messages I've been sending, and if you've checked on eCampus or here on Brightspace, you've seen that this class was originally scheduled for Tuesday and Thursday, but is now a blended class that meets only on Thursdays from 9.30 to 10.45. Now, what that means is that the other part of the class is an online class. So this class actually begins on Monday, January 24th. The activities and assignments will be given on schedule through the week, and then we will meet on Thursdays when we need to, to have live sessions, go over discussions, peer review, uh, workshops, seminars, questions and answers, things like that. But most of the work you will actually be doing online um, so that you understand the expectations of the class. Be very sure that you know that this class does not just meet once a week. That is not the whole class. That this class is an ongoing class through the week with readings and assignments with due dates or sometimes assignments are just due by the time we meet on in class on Thursday. Also, online discussions will take place in the Brightspace discussions. Um, for the most part, everything will be kept on Brightspace with a couple of exceptions, and I want to go through that with you today. So let's choose content, and I just want to go through a couple of things with you at the beginning. If you notice, uh, the very first thing you see in the table of contents is a request for you to add a signal group. That'll be our way of having just-in-time conversations so that if you want to get a hold of me or any classmate or my assistant, Panda, Sapanya Touch, who will be working with us this semester, then you can very simply just use the Signal. Uh, why do I use uh, Signal instead of WhatsApp or other options? Because Signal is the most secure, uh, most protected. They do not save information. I work with international colleagues around the world and international students around the world, and Signal is safe for them, some of whom need to be protected from surveillance. So please join the Signal group by using this link. The next thing I'm going to ask you to do is to add your folder to a shared Google Drive. I have added you all to a shared Google Drive. You all have access. You need to go in there and create a folder. As you see, some of your classmates already have. Please make sure that all of the work that you do in this class is done in that folder. Again, all of the work that you do in this class should be started and finished in that folder. And all of the writing that you do, you should do in Google Documents, not Microsoft Word pasted into Google Documents. Google Document from start to finish. This is very important in a writing class, especially as with a Google Document, I can see your writing revision history. So that I don't need to see drafts, you don't need to save drafts because the Google document builds the drafting feature in. So anytime you work on the Google document, anytime you have a collaborator on the Google document, or someone gives you revision ideas, I will see the date and time for that information if you use the, the same document for the entire process. So you should start your document in your folder, and you should um, not start it anywhere else. Um, as long as it's in this folder, I have access. You don't need to give me access. You don't need to worry about permissions. And then if you ever have any questions with moving things, deleting things, etc., or if you've put them in the wrong place and you can't move them or anything, we can fix that for you. For the rest of the semester, uh, for the rest of Brightspace, as you see, it moves along much like you have in your other classes. And this is week one, reading through all of this stuff, adding yourself to the signal group, creating your folder in our shared drive, and then starting the week by getting the books, starting the readings, uh, looking everything over, going through everything here on the page, adding your questions to ask in class or to ask here, and then getting started. Discussion one. And discussion one is actually a hybrid discussion. Part of it is on the Flipgrid, and part of it is here in the discussion. So part of it is writing, part of it is video. So if you click on the link here, where it says click here, it will take you to something called Flipgrid if you haven't used it before. You will use the Google login and put in your URI address. It will only accept a URI address. Uh, you can't 
have access to it with any other address. And then you will do your introduction based on the information that you will see here and on the Flipgrid. In writing here, you're asked to no. do these things. No. I want you to notice something about the discussions. Okay. At the end, there's a second discussion that is Q&A. I've set up Q&A as a place where you can go to safely ask questions about any of these topics or anything else, or to add information. Maybe you found a resource that you want to share with everyone. You can put it here. This is anonymous if you want it to be, or you can choose to use your name. That's entirely up to you. But by being anonymous, it gives you the option to be able to safely ask a question without feeling self-conscious. Please ask any questions that are not personal to you here. This way, everyone gets to see the question. And most of the time, questions benefit everyone because more than one person generally has the same question. Even though you think you're the only one that has the question, and you feel self-conscious about having to ask the question, the truth is you're asking the question for your classmates as well. They often have the same question. And that can sometimes start a discussion. And sometimes one of your classmates might know the solution. They may see the question and answer it before I even have to or before Panda has to. So please use the Q&A discussion here for any questions that you have that are general to the class. Any personal information, questions, doesn't involve the rest of the class, please feel free to email me. Or if you need to know in a short period of time, please feel free to send me a signal message. So that's pretty much it. I can't think of much else that I can talk to you about in introducing this uh, class. is a very unique class. It's a lot of fun. It's a badge-based, project-based class. So you are going to be working with other students sometimes. Uh, you're going to be choosing topics that are of interest to you, that have real meaning to you. This is not a traditional writing class. We are not going to learn how to write paragraphs. We kind of have that expectation that you already have certain writing skills in place and that you are here now to learn how to be a real authentic author of multimodal writing. And what does that mean? Well, we'll talk more about that when you start doing the reading and you start hearing uh, some of the information that I have to share about multimodality. When we meet on Thursday, we'll have a good conversation about that. I'm looking forward to meeting you all and seeing you all. A couple of other points to make. One, if you ever can't make it to class or if you become ill, and or if you become in contact with someone who's ill and have to take time away from class, you will be allowed to come in and encouraged to come in on Zoom. So any time that you can't physically make it to class, you need to let us know so that we can set you up to come in on Zoom. And just so you know, the Zoom channel that we use is here. All you have to do is go to Zoom and it'll take you to the link that you will want to use for this class. All right, so go through our Brightspace page. We have discussions. They'll come up almost weekly. Sometimes there won't be a discussion, but most of the time there is. Class list. If no one has ever shown you this, let me show it to you now. And I see everyone that's in our writing community this semester. If I want to message everyone, I can just click here and hit email. Or if I want to message someone or some number of people, I can click here and hit email. Or if I want to message just one person, I can do the same, or I can just click on their name, and the email window will pop up, and I can send my message. So that is an easy way for you to contact, maybe if you're working in a group, or if you're doing peer review, or if you want to contact one of us, and you can't remember our email address. The other thing you will find here under content is the class syllabus, and that will explain a lot, a link to the COVID protocols up to date for the for the school and a little bit about how the course works and more things will appear. I am a communicator, so check your email regularly for messages from me. And if you send me a message, if it's on Signal, I'll get back to it as soon as I can. Otherwise, if it's email, expect a, a reply within a day. If you haven't heard from me in a day, because I get so many emails, it might have got missed. Send it again. You're not being a pain. Communication is very, very, very important, especially in a class like this. Be a good communicator. I try to be a good communicator. Let me know when you don't know something beforehand, not after. If you can't be in class, it is very important that you let me know before class, not after. If you let me know after class, there is no guarantee that you'll be able to make up the work. If you let me know before class and we can't get you on Zoom, 
we can try and come up with some arrangement. It's in the student handbook. If you do not let us know before class that you cannot be in class, we are not obliged to allow you to make up work. And then also there's an attendance policy. So let's have a good class. Let's have a good time. Uh, I definitely like to have fun when I teach. Um, I like you to have fun. And I want us to come out of the semester feeling like we all learned something and we're all better readers and writers because of it, including me. I always grow in knowledge from what people write and present. And I'm looking forward to the semester with you. I'm looking forward to seeing you on Flipgrid this week. So let's get to that and then meeting you live in person on Thursday. Take care. Until then.